this is Mentos English Express and I'm Sudha Oberoi. In my previous videos, I had explained parts of speech to you. I hope you must have watched all those videos. Today, in this video, I'm going to explain tenses to you. Tenses are inseparable form of verbs and verb is an important part of the sentence which tells us about the action of the subject and without verb, the sentence makes no sense. So children, verbs have different forms called tenses and the tense of a verb tells us when the action occurs, whether it occurred in the past tense, present tense or future tense. So children, in this video of tenses part 1, I am going to explain you present tense and its forms in detail. Watch the video till the end and subscribe it so that you get benefited from my upcoming videos also. Let us begin with tenses. There are three forms of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense. Today in this video we are going to learn present tense. Now present tense itself has got four forms. First is simple present tense. Second is present continuous tense. Third is present perfect tense. And fourth is present perfect continuous tense. Now when we talk about tense, we have to see the verb in the sentence. So let us understand simple present tense first. Now while using simple present tense, we see that the verbs used in such sentences are with S, ES or without S verbs. So verbs are either used with S, ES or without S. Now S and ES verbs are used with singular nouns and without S verbs are used with plural nouns. Let us understand simple present tense with the help of examples. Remember, the verbs with S and ES are used with singular nouns and verbs without S are used with plural nouns. See the examples. He goes to school every day. Goes is verb. They play in the evening. Play is verb. He does not sing. Does is verb. We do not sing. Do is verb. Why does he often cry? Does is verb. What do you want? Do is verb. Now let us match the nouns here. He is singular. So we have used ES. He goes to school every day. They are plural. So we have used without S verb. They play in the evening. You can make negative sentences also. He, this is singular, does not sing. So we have used ES. We do not sing. We is plural. We have used without S. You can even make interrogative sentences. Why does he often cry? He is singular. We have used ES. What do you want? You. With you we use plural. So here we have used plural without S verb. So now I think you have understood how to use the verbs with the singular and plural nouns. Whenever a noun is singular, we use S and ES verbs. And wherever it is plural, we do not use S verbs. Let us understand the situations in which we use simple present tense. First, it is used to express habitual action. Example, I read newspaper daily. So this is my daily job that I read newspaper. I can read newspaper any time of the day. But every day I am reading. So this is my habit. So we have used simple present tense here. He goes to school. Now going to school is also a routine for him. This is also a habit. We have used simple present tense. Next, to express permanent truth. Example, the sun rises in the east. Now the sun doesn't change its direction. It always rises in the east. So simple present tense is used. 
नेक्स्ट ऑनेस्टी इज द बेस्ट पॉलिसी दिस इज अ यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ ऑनेस्टी विल रिमेन अ बेस्ट पॉलिसी एवरीवेयर एनी टाइम सो सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस इज यूज ऑनेस्टी इज द बेस्ट पॉलिसी थर्ड सिचुएशन इज इन विविड नरेटिव एज अ सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर सिंपल पास टेंस एग्जाम्पल इज द वेड सोल्जर कम्स फॉरवर्ड एंड सेल्यूट्स द जनरल हियर देर आर टू वर्ब्स इन दिस सेंटेंस बोथ हैव बीन यूज इन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस द वेड सोल्जर कम्स फॉरवर्ड एंड सेल्यूट्स द जनरल नेक्स्ट इज इन एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेंसेस बिगनिंग विद हियर और देर सी द एग्जाम्पल हियर कम्स द टैक्सी कम्स इज वर्क एंड इट इज यूज इन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस देर शी गोज गोज इज वर्क यूज इन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस नेक्स्ट इज टू एक्सप्रेस प्लान फ्यूचर एक्शन Sometimes we make planning for future also. So when we have a plan, we can write these sentences or express ourselves in simple present tense. See example: We go to Delhi next week. We have planned, so we have used simple present tense here. We go to Delhi next week. Next, when does the school reopen? You can ask interrogative sentences also like this: When does the school reopen? Next. to express ongoing event or commentary etc so children you must have heard commentary they are always said explained narrated in simple present tense like ashish throws the ball to manoj throws is simple present tense next form is present continuous tense Now, for present continuous tense, we use is, are, am plus ing form of verb. Once again, I repeat, is, are, am plus ing form of verb. Is is used with singular nouns. Are is used with plural nouns, and am is used with i. Let us see examples of present continuous tense. We have to use is, are. am plus ing form of verb so here are the examples it is raining outside it is pronoun it is pronoun we have used is plus ing form of verb it is raining outside next they are going to school they is plural used with plural so we have used are plus ing form of verb they are going to school next i am reading a book am is used with i plus ing form of verb i am reading a book next he is not coming to the party he is singular so we have used is plus ing form of verb since it is a negative sentence we have split auxiliary and main verb and used not in between he is not coming to the party next they are not sleeping they is used with plural so we have used are an ing form of verb again it is a negative sentence so we have split the auxiliary and main verb and use not in between they are not sleeping next interrogative sentence is he reading a book he is singular so we have used is and is comes in the beginning of the sentence is then pronoun and then ing form of verb is he reading a book next aren't they watching tv they is plural so we have used aren't watching so aren't they watching tv here are the situations in which present continuous form of tenses used first is to express action in progress progress means which is going on just now example is my mother is baking cake so your mother is in the kitchen she is baking we have used is baking they are doing homework 
so they are sitting and doing homework at the present moment so art plus ing form of verb like i am teaching you so i am teaching ing form of verb next for temporary action which may not be happening at the time of speaking sometimes it happen there is a continuation of action but at the time of speaking it is not happening like he is painting a picture so he can't paint the picture in one sitting he is painting so we have used is plus ing form of verb they are practicing for the competition next to express an action that has been arranged to take place in future example the circus is coming to our city tomorrow so if it is coming tomorrow we can use present continuous tense for future events also i am going to watch a movie tonight today in the night i am going to watch a movie so i am going to watch next to express obstinate habit which persist in spite of warnings or advice these habits are used with adverbs like always continually constantly now see example he is always fighting with his brother is fighting and we have used always adverb here we have split the auxiliary and main verb he is always fighting with his brother so we have used present continuous tense here for present perfect tense we use has have plus third form of verb has is used for singular nouns have is used with plural nouns plus third form of verb so let us see the examples we have to use has or have plus third form of verb he has read the book he is singular we have used has plus third form of verb read he has read the book they have won the match they is used with plural we have used have and third form of verb won they have won the race next i have not read the story i again is used with plural verbs i have and third form of verb is read since it is a negative sentence again we have split the auxiliary and main verb and written not in middle i have not read the story next she has not received any prize she is singular we have used has third form of verb is received since it is again negative we have split the auxiliary and main verb and used not in between she has not received any prize see interrogative sentences have they arrived they is used with plural so here it will begin with verb have they arrived third form of verb arrived next has she invited you she is singular we have used singular verb has has she invited you let us see the situations in which present perfect tense is used first to indicate activity completed in the immediate past example i have finished my homework this activity is over have finished have plus third form of verb next she has won the race has won has plus third form of the verb and she has already won the race so perfect tense is used next to describe events of past because their effect still exist example i have got a comfortable job have got have plus third form of verb and i am still having that job so i am comfortable with it with it i have got a comfortable job 
Kavita has eaten whole cake. She has finished it. So Kavita has eaten whole cake. Next, to express past action whose time is not given. Example, she has been to England. Has been. Now she has been there but the time or year has not been mentioned here. So she has been to England. Has plus third form of verb. Next, to connect the things of past with present. I have lived in Mumbai for five years. Have lived. Have plus third form of verb. Next, to express sense of continuity. Like example, I have known her for a long time. Have known and still I know her. So, I have known her for a long time. And the fourth form of present tense is present perfect continuous tense. In this tense we use either has, have, plus been, plus ing form of verb. Again has is used with singular nouns. Have is used with plural nouns. Been is used with both and ing form of verb is also used with both of them. See the examples. He has been watching TV for two hours. He is singular. We have used has plus been plus ing form of verb. Has been watching TV for two hours. Next. They have been playing a friendly match. They is plural. So we have used have plus been plus playing. They have been playing a friendly match. Next, she has not been singing. Negative sentence. She is similar. We have used has not not been singing. Has plus been plus singing and not for negative sentence. She has not been singing. Next, we have not been watching TV. We is plural. We have used have plus been plus watching. And again it is negative sentence. So we have used not also. We have not been watching TV. Next, this is interrogative sentence. Has not she been exercising? She is singular. So we have used has in the beginning of the sentence. Has not she been exercising? Been plus ing form of verb. Next, have not they been working? They is used with plural. So we have begun the sentence with have. Have not they been working? Been plus ing form of verb. Now let us see the situation in which we can use present perfect continuous tense. It is used for an action that began in the past and is still continuing. So the action which has begun in the past but still is continuing for such situations we use present perfect continuous tense. Example, they have been building this road for several months. Now for several months they have been building. So we have used have plus been plus building. They have been building this road for several months. Next. She has been studying since 2 o'clock. She is studying since 2 o'clock. Till now she is studying. So we have used present perfect continuous tense. She has been studying since 2 o'clock. Now let us sum up present tense. Now we have read that there are four tenses. See the examples one again, once again. He likes ice cream. Likes his work. He is reading a book. Is reading his work. He has written a song. Has written his work. They have been playing since 5 o'clock. Have been playing again are verbs. So he likes ice cream is simple present tense. We have used just one Verb. He is reading a book is present continuous tense. So we have used two verbs auxiliary plus ing form of verb. He has written a song. 
is present perfect tense. We have used again two verbs. Has plus third form of a verb. And then they have been playing since 5 o'clock. This is present perfect continuous tense. We have used three verbs. Have been playing. So we began with one verb. Then we have written two verbs. And in the last form we have used three verbs. This is also a trick in which you can check your exercise. Children, I hope present tense is clear to you. You must remember this chart which is very important to understand the present tense. In my next video of tenses part 2, I am going to explain you past tense and future tense in detail. So keep watching Mentors English Express. Children, if you have enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe it. Do post your comments in the comments box below. Thank you.